I know these sounds belong to XP, but they were also used in Longhorn. Hey Macintosh haters, how you doing? It's me, Ilham. Yo. Today we're gonna talk about Windows. How very interesting. Specifically, their startup and shutdown misconceptions. Let's first begin with the Windows Longhorn case. There is a misconception that Longhorn used heavenly sounds like the ah, startup sound. Even though this was just a conspiracy theory and Longhorn used sounds from Windows XP. What the fuck? I am not kidding. Those sounds actually came from Windows XP themes such as Royale Noir and Vista Inspirat. According to BetaWiki, the sound scheme allegedly used in Longhorn and Vista Beta was actually an NEO sound sound scheme known as Deep Fantasy created in 2003. Still doesn't make you sad? The alleged Vista Beta 1 startup. Actually comes from the speech recognition tutorial of Windows Vista. Now let's talk about the Server 2003 case. Many people believe that Server 2003 has a completely different sound in the UK. Even though it came from the promotional animation of it. According to Billy O'Reilly, Making sounds for an operating system is expensive and it wouldn't make sense if the UK used a different startup sound. They weren't like, bro, fuck you Microsoft, I want a different startup sound. Whether the US or the UK, all countries use the XP startup sound. That's right! Now let's see Whistler. That's the wrong Whistler. Anyway. We know that the shutdown sound comes from BOS, but where does the startup come from? Many YouTubers such as HP Neptune sampled three sounds, which create the fake Whistler startup sound. These sounds include the Windows 98 shutdown sound in reverse. A level up sound from a Microsoft Entertainment Pack game, but lower pitched and slowed down. And the Windows 2000 shutdown sound, also in reverse, used in Beta 3 builds 1983-2000. Combine all these and you get this. There was also another theory that Windows 1.0 used this startup sound. Even though no windows prior to 3.1 used any sounds. In Nebraska. Okay, enough of lame jokes. Now, sometimes the Windows 8 logon sound is misconceived as the Windows 8 startup sound. Considering the fact that all Windows operating systems since Vista use the same startup sound. In 8, 8.1 and 10, they're disabled by default. A lot of you Longhorn fans might be asking They were fake? And I'd say Of course they were fake! No, not entirely fake, but they were intended for an operating system that's not made by Microsoft. And that's it for this video, please make sure to <laughs>